Oh, howdy folks, how are we doing? Ooh. Monday morning, we've got about an inch of snow and I'm walking down to the far because <laughs> I'm a nutcase. And the van's going for a service and Liz will want the uh, truck to go to work in, so I'm reduced to the bike. Oh, it is a bit nippy this time of the morning. Oh, I'm here. I haven't fallen off either. But it's very, very Christmassy. It's very nice. Uh, just see what we've got down in the bottom feeders. Uh, yeah, alright, girl. That's um, uh, one of the triplets. My favourite trip, actually. You alright, know sweetheart? There is something about snow on these feet, you know, that crunch, crunch, crunch. It's lovely. Let's have a look in the dry cow yard as we wander past. And yep, we've had, ooh, we've had two overnight by the looks of it. I see one little calf there. There must be another in there. I could tell when we got here by the them um the little moves you get. That's a of calves move that is. Mm. I'll start the little 6020 up, get her out ready. Oh. Now, I don't think it's quite as um cold as it has been. Um We've got snow on the ground, so it's not going to be as cold as a uh, frosty morning, is it? And lights. There you go. Yeah, I think. Um, look at them mud guards. Might be a couple of inch. It's quite a lot for us, especially when it was actually forecast. Although you can see there is a, you know, a big lump of. Or rain stroke snow coming up from the south coast, but uh, normally it peters out when it gets, you know, before it gets to us. But not today. I don't know if we've got any more Jill or not. Lot. Let's get her running. Oh, in. The old revs. Most important thing. Turn the heater on. It's going to open the gates now and sort of having a look to see what um, bugger, see what uh, the cows have got. Let's see if we've got to put another bar in or not. But a uh, fair bit left. So I think we'll stick with two in there. Add to it. Yeah, bugger. That is. That's a good two inches. Might even be more. I'm surprised, when we let the dogs out last night for, you know, the wee before bed. Um, it was just like a bit of ice and sugar, just a little dust. So I didn't expect it to uh, do much more. Come on girls, you lot go get up. Come on, you lot. Come on, you get. Ah, if you get, come on. The girls. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> come on, you get. Up. Come on, the girls. Just twiddling the, the old food up at the minute. Oh, we're just down with the uh, heifers and dry cows at the minute. I'm just going to give them their um, nuts and wheat and mineral mix. up for a 
bucket load of silage for the uh, bottom yard that we looked at earlier. Whew. There you go, that's the cow's beds done. We can now let these back in. These are the ones that have been milked. So you let them come through. The girls. Right, we can now go and feed the bottom lot. Right, take that down the bottom now. Put that in one of the feeders. Oh, and we've got to feed the bull as well. Also down there. Yeah, right, feed big fella. There he is, here's his nose. Come on, mate. Yes, yeah, snow mate. Come on. Come on. I'm not sure you've seen snow before, have you? You don't see a lot in here, but this is his little uh, penthouse suite where he romances the ladies. I'll just dump this in the ring for you for him. Black as you're at, though. We're set. <laughs> well, only one wheel drive at the minute. <laughs> Where's the old four wheel drive? There she is. She can go now. Oh, there we go. Right, we're going to now let the cows out. Go and have your breakfast, can't you, girls? Some of them have gone back to bed. I'm sure we're just waiting to get out there, look. Go on out way, guys. Go on. Come on. Right, so next job is open this bale up. Because <sighs> this is a heifer bale. So quite a dry um, frozen bale. Uh, as you can see, really quite a dry bale. And this will feed the Dry cows and heifers. And just dump all this in there. Ted and Dell have come down for their morning walk, haven't you, Ted? Oh, Dell. Snow, Dell. Dell wasn't too sure about it, although we saw it last winter. He sort of went. Did we have much? We didn't have a lot last winter, though, did we? Do you like Snowdale? Oh, dear boy! Yeah, dear boy! Ted's hungry. Ted's eating silage. Oh, Ted. You better take him, let him run around in the snow. Oh, Dale, Dale, Dale. Yeah, Dale boy. Right, whilst that's shopping, we'll go and get a couple of um, wheat bowls so we can. Oh, chop the bottom yard when them cows go in for milking. Grab them too. Traffic's still going up the A1. I presume uh, the old gritters and ploughs and that have uh, kept the main roads um, clear, I would think. But uh, when it finally sort of brightens up, it's 7.35 now. Should be very pretty. It does look pretty now, doesn't it? Look? Trees and that all covered in snow. You lot are all busy munching now, aren't you? Haven't you, Brecky? Didn't you, girl? Yes. Oh, I didn't like that. Yeah. Right, let's go and see if this uh, heifer bale is chopped. Hopefully it has by now. Yeah, that should do quite nicely. Oh, sorry. Now that is them fed. So that's everything fed this morning now. Turn this off. Right, this has got to be reloaded for the afternoon, but <coughs> we're sort of <coughs> well, not beyond time, but um 
suppose the snow has slowed things down a little bit. But anyway, we've got to do that later. Fill this up later. Next job, if you're keeping up, is um, we've got to go and chop the wheat bales in the bottom yard. Now, I've, as we've just come around the corner, I've seen they've gone up to be milked. This is the lot we've just fed. Hi, girls. Oh, you've not seen a camera before, have you? Ooh, scary. So we're going to grab grab the um, straw chopper. She's white. so we can get out. <sighs> We're off. It'd be interesting to see how long this snow lasts because the, the this cold weather is carrying on to the weekend. Um, it being Monday this morning. So uh, could linger around quite a while um, and this Saturday is the tractor run Ooh, that's nearly it so expect um, a good few live streams on that day uh, what's going on the build up and then the run itself looking forward to that just plop that in there So, that is ready for chopping. All right, so, do the valve, that lifts the valve up so you can start the chopper with no load on it, which we're gonna do. Like so, River up, pull that lever back down, that then sits the valve back down on the knives. River right up, spin away. Right, that's one chopped. I'm going to stick the full tube. Normally we'd do about an half. Um, works in quite well the system, but because um, it's snowed, it gets in all the yards. It's all sort of damp and that, and turns them shitty. So uh, we're going to stick another full bale in, lot. All right, chuck this in. Just like that. Uh, right now we've got to chop that and then we've got some snow clearing to do. Oh, so a chunk lot in there. Like. <laughs> Just laying there getting blasted by a straw. He don't care. <laughs> He's a bit of a dude, he is. Oh, I'm just going to clear the driveway. We've got a, um, a cake lorry coming today, <laughs> of all days. Um, which is basically the, the nuts that we feed in the parlour. And uh, yeah, that's coming today. So that'll be like a small arctic like a two axle arctic with a rear steer, they're very manoeuvrable things but um, yeah we do need to just move clear the snow as best we can for him so he's um, so he can manoeuvre a lot so that is the driveway clear just sort out this um, <laughs> big old pile of snow I've just dumped there just tidy that up a bit more then we've got a bit more down the bottom where the cake lorry turns around so um and then he should be good hopefully yeah that's the way to spread salt yeah i think we need some more mate didn't we yeah <laughs> right we're just going to get the wagon filled for this afternoon again now now molasses <laughs> it just shows you how cold it is because this is uh there you go that's how full it is so that should, in theory, horse out there, but like any sort of oil, when it's cold, it's uh, 
runs ever so slowly. The old Deutsch Fahr is sat in here in the warm. Nice and cosy she is. Oh, that's the cow's tea being made in the wagon there. Right, I've got to go and do some bedding up now. Never stops. Cake lorry is here. Like I say, they're little tandem axles and there you go, rear steer on it. Like that, so they're extremely manoeuvrable little machine, little units they are. Right, so now I'm just getting out the bowels I need for tomorrow. So I've just had the delivery of um, car food, hen food, dairy chemicals. He's got a blower on the trailer there that then just blows it up into the loft above the parlour and then it's just gravity fed down into the feeders. So it's sort of an old school solution that is. That's what they all used to be like that is. Slide this in and out. This is the heifer and the dry cow silage that um, they like to nose out. They've nosed a lot out actually this time. Normally it ain't too bad. But they have nosed quite a bit out, so I'm doing it earlier than I would normally do. Put a load more back in, they'll munch that, and then this afternoon when I normally do it, later on, it will tidy up. Right, dinner time now, and we're all going out for a wee. There's Del, there's Ted, Flo, and Penny, you're 16 now. She's still going, just about. You know, really good then. Off the goat, in the snow. So this is my, <laughs> Ted, look at his lips. This is my dinner, chicken soup, um, with uh, some slices of bread to dip in, and believe it or not, Seabrook's crisps dipped in uh, chicken soup is absolutely lovely. And also we've got my 2023 calendar. Um, these are still available to buy from the website if you uh, would like one. Uh, the link will be in the description. It's a nice A4 sized one. Um, so not too big. Still, you know, a bit of room to write stuff. And uh, yeah, good selection of machines. Um, all the way through August, September, October. Yes, old girl. November, December. So yeah. Um, if you'd like one of these, go to the link in the description and order one. All right, we're back after dinner. Just getting these round feeders again and fork this over for them. Uh, you see what it's like now in the daylight. You see again, they, well, not so much they nose it, they will nose it back in the middle, but they do struggle to reach the middle bit here. Walk it back to the sides for them. Just like that. There's triplet again. You do a girl. You good cow, aren't you? You good girl. Good little cow. Fun cat. And so afternoon routine starts now. Just gone three. And we do now everything look basically we gone through in the morning. We've got to do again, so we've got to get the cows up, we've got to scrape uh, feeding area up the cubicles, clean the cubicles, rebed the cubicles, feed these, feed the cows down the bottom yard. And then I've got to, what have I got to do then? Then I've got to make up um, the mornings feeding the feeder wagon again. So, you know, we're sort of halfway there in the morning. Like, come on, girls, come on. So, just keeps going on. And then tomorrow's the same thing. Oh, to get this milk out of these cows. Oh, snow's giving up, sort of. 
slowly on the R, don't it? Like, I mean, we haven't salted this this bit or anything, like. But I can bet that'll be crunchy in the morning. All right, fire this up, get this chopping. Because uh, it's not fully chopped in the back at the minute. Needs to be chopped quite a bit more, yeah? we forked in there earlier that's not all gone but we can get the rest of that in the troughs now can't we girls there's Reggie say hello to everyone Reggie yeah Reggie boy yeah mate yeah oh, you got itchy head have you yeah yeah got itchy head oh yeah big fella ain't you size of that neck Huge old neck, ain't you, mate? You got big old neck, ain't you, mate? Yes. You know, silage, are you? Yeah. Well, what's this? Is edible? Bit of tongue? Good boy. Oh, that's the cow's afternoon feed fed out. I'll let them out again now, and then we can um, fill the wagon up again. Fast track. She's off tomorrow. Off tomorrow. <laughs> I know it's going to cost a lot of money, but I honestly can't wait to have it, have it back and have a right engine right. That spool fixed on it. Um, and obviously a working gearbox would be handy, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'm looking forward to getting behind the wheel over again. I really am. <laughs> It's been a long time since I made a snowman. <laughs> Good fun. I mean, and I mean a long time. 30 years ago, <laughs> I think the last time I made a snowman. Oh, good. Um, his eyes and nose and hands are all screwdrivers. And he's got a bit of silage for hair. But he's a bit of a dude, isn't he? Ah, right. Time to refork this lot back up for this lot. For your, for your tea. Hey girls, yes. nice tongue, nice tongue action. You got some tongue action? Yeah. Uh, and then we've got to put the wagon away. That's over there chopping still because it's. Uh, cause I've got a lot in it. I've mean, got three bowels in there, and it's uh, um, needs a fair bit of chopping. So I'm leaving that chop while I do this. Yeah, you can just about see these are some old Chinese um, uh, cheapo lights that I'd have knocking around for oh, a couple of years in the heavy um, toolbox. The ones up there are UTV. Now, this tractor's got these uh, halogen ones on, you can't see very well there, but it's got the halogen ones on. And um, as we know, halogen are crap. So I thought, um, oh, I didn't turn that lot off. I thought, um, right, I've got these, um, got these old, uh, old lights. Well, brand new lights, but yeah, they've just been sat in my toolbox uh, doing nothing. So I'll stick a couple on the back still with the light. And um, that one there, um, half the lights have gone out and they went out within about three hours so that's great isn't it lot that one is still fully working um well i'll oh, bugger this um so i've stuck a couple of uh utv ovals on the top and you can see it's bright as anything um and uh I'll, when i get a chance i'll take these chinese ones off and Put some more UTV on because you just you, you know you can't beat quality. You buy you know you buy some cheap stuff and you know you take your chance. But you know that one lasted about three hours. Yes, it's still half working, but ain't very good, is it? Like you might as well buy something decent that's blooming bright and. Um, Uh, 
um, will last a long time, which is the UTV. Oh, right, there we go. We are on the way home now on the old bike. Van should be uh, serviced tomorrow. Get that back. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little peek into the, you know, the day-to-day -day routine stuff that goes on on the dairy farm on a snowy day. Um, yeah, there's always something to be doing. Always, always, always. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that vid. I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta!